and uh, people crowded in it that is the street of Juakali behind me and uh, just like I told you today is the day which is not fair at sometimes at the same time it's a day that people have been waiting for just like I told you Soroti City East is polling today uh, 28th of uh, July 2022 and I think police was trying to stop his way the other side so mamoni peri i didn't to do product and to unless probably if somebody tells us what exactly uh, went down here i've seen uh, people that uh, uh, police officers that are facing that side yeah it is something which is absurd it is disappointing all the electorates because uh, the officials or the security agencies that belongs to the government side, it is like it is intimidating the electorates that uh, live around who and those ones who do their businesses around that uh, that street of Juakali. What is happening here? Uh, there have been uh, actually tear gassing and the beatings along that street, and the. Uh, some people have been arrested and we don't know why they have not clarified it to the voters what is what why they are doing that to the electorate. Okay, you are watching Emria TV. Just like we told you, Lolo Nesa Para and Alameda Rostum also wrote the city east and uh, Jari re election. And the capital yoni kopane gurla jayo town. Uh it won't be poor it go lock in case it do kai. That is Juakali and to lock. And actually when I was walking through the Juakali street still, I got a gentleman who was also locking his business. Gunshots, then tear gas, uh, and that tear gas, I think even the wind brought it up to this side because I can also feel the throats. Uh, I really don't know what happened, but of course now when it is like this, uh, it is not safe. It is not safe to be here, and it is, it is better to be home. That's why I, I'm closing and taking my kids away, taking them back home. And start to say it is free and fair. Because by the time you are shooting guns, it means as the voters, like for me, I've not yet voted. I was just thinking of going to vote. So it, it is already a very big, uh, uh, a big challenge to me. Like, I don't feel safe. It is, it is, it is threatening. Like, uh, I can't move. I don't feel I'm safe to go to a polling station to vote. Because if I'm locking my business, now what about going to vote? It means it's not something good. For, for us, the, the, the people of Soroti City East, it is really not good. Shooting, tear gas, bullets, it is not good. I think uh, this, uh, this is part of the intimidation that will make some people not to vote or that will even make other people to change their minds and vote the person they never wanted to vote. Thank you so much for keeping it, Emria TV, from wherever you're watching. My name is Rixel uh, Peter Ariko uh, for Emria TV. And of course, behind me is a view of Soroti City, a city that was divided into two, Soroti City East and Soroti City West. And today, as we're talking, being the 28th of July uh, 2022, uh, we are holding a re-election in Soroti City East. That is after Honorable Atan Moses Okia was kicked out of parliament uh, through court to come back and do a re-election and we came the former contestant uh, that is for the member of parliament for Sorot City East Honorable Ariko Edmond Hubbard who previously was contesting under independent vote and now coming to be the flag bearer of NRM a few weeks ago when he took over the, the flag and now we sing the battle are uh, going on today honorable ariko versus honorable atan for the people that are watching out there what do you think is going to be uh or, or, or what do you think are the consequences going to be if fdc takes over the seat of sort city east or if nrm takes this the, the seat of sort city east that is if honorable ariko takes over Sorot City East, what do you think uh, will be done or what do you expect for the development of the city? And if Honorable Ariko, I mean Honorable Atan Moses Okia takes over this very seat like he was before he was kicked out, do you think NRM is going to be able or uh, do you think they are going to listen to the cry of the people of Sorot City East through FDC or do you think if NRM takes over this case for Soroti City is do you think uh, there will be development just like it happens in other cities or do you think there will be neglect like it happened in Karamoja having both MPs in the NRM ticket and uh, 
uh, we've been seeing the misery that Karamoja has been going through. And of course, today is the day we shall decide who is actually the member of parliament again for Soroti City East. After the re-election that is taking place right now, we shall be following uh, these polls and of course giving you updates in every polling station. Uh, earlier on, we were in uh, uh, that is Soroti uh, Public Gardens where we were seeing uh, holding three polling stations in one venue and uh, we saw the chaos that were taking place uh, that is uh, around the bus terminal uh, Juakali uh, people were being tear gassed and gunshots trying to disperse people and of which some people were claiming that they are being intimidated for voting but still we are actually encouraging everybody out there go cast your vote wisely for the member of parliament that you think is going to bring change is going to bring an impact that you expect at the end of five years right now earlier on we had some rumors here says quote me well we had some information about the same saga coming soon for Sorot city west but uh, soon we're going to be following this very story and we bring you what really is going to happen if Sorot city east was affected by some of the polling stations how sure are we that even Sorot city west was not affected so for today i'm leaving you uh, with what is uh, going on in soroti at uh, at first it started uh, with peace in the middle bit there we had a little bit of violence people trying to throw uh, uh, bricks to the police officers who were trying as well uh, 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 replying them with tear gas and of which uh, we saw people running shops closing business stopping for today i am sure sorority will normalize that will be after uh, this is all confirmed uh, most likely by monday again so i remain peter Arico for emria tv thank you so much for watching from whichever location you're watching from leave a comment or share or like give us an idea what do you think what do you expect for soroti city east after the person will be elected today between the three candidates honorable Pax pascal amuriat honorable atan moses okia for fdc and honorable Ariko habert edmond for nrm thank you keep the comments flowing my name is peter Ariko. behind the camera is savon thank you